The Royal Grenada Police Force says while the 2024 carnival season was generally safe and enjoyable, there was a concerning rise in reported offenses this year when compared with last year. The RGPF says there were 37 reported incidents, whereas in 2023, there were 19. This represents an increase of 18 incidents, equivalent to 95%. Property crimes accounted for 51.35% of the total reported incidents, harm offenses 32.43%, and sexual offenses 16.21%. During the St. George's Juve, one shooting and one stabbing were reported. Following investigations into the shooting, one firearm and three rounds of ammunition were confiscated. 24-year-old Jalil Anthony Thomas, unemployed of Black Bay St. John, was charged with three counts of attempted attempted murder, possession of a firearm, possession of a firearm with intent to cause injury, possession of ammunition, discharging a firearm, and causing public terror. The RGPF says one stabbing was also reported during the Sotea's Juve. Following investigations into that incident, 20-year-old Lonel Tanis, unemployed of Tivoli St. Andrew, was arrested and charged with the offense of causing dangerous harm. In addition, 61 vehicular accidents, including one of a serious nature, were reported between fi Friday 9th and Tuesday 13th, 2024, compared with 63 accidents, one of which was of a serious nature, for the corresponding carnival period in 2023. This reflects a decrease of two accidents in 2024. Despite these challenges, a release from the RGPF says members demonstrated commendable vigilance and effectiveness in the execution of their duties, thus successfully resolving several altercations and confiscating a substantial number of offensive weapons, including a firearm, cutlasses, knives, and scissors. It added that the actions of our police officers played a key role in preventing other crimes.